animal children. We reindeer come straight from your own Santa Claus. In our gallop of joy, we never will pause. We eat from the mountain tops, drink from the dells, and use for our skipping ropes merry sleigh bells. A large and handsome personage is the most noble yak. His mantle is a fringe of hair that drapes his sides and back. He's very, very grand indeed. When he stands up, you see, in fact, he's just as noble as a noble ought to be. When young Mrs. Kangaroo goes for a hop, to call or to market, or perhaps out to shop, she has no nice carriage where baby can ride, so he creeps in a pocket that hangs at her side. He does not care when the sleet comes down or the chilly wind blows strong, for he wears a hat that is made of horn and a fur coat warm and long. He never gets frostbitten toes, though in snow and ice he plays. Now being a must ox can't be bad in the long, cold winter days. The very best I have, sir, fine and a whole yard wide. It wears and has no bother of a right and wrong side. I'm sure she'd like a dress of it. It will not spot or pull. Then Miss Alpaca added, I know, it's my own wool. This dear little sheep has lost Bo Peep. She wandered away as he lay asleep. He has found her bonnet and shepherd's crook. But for little Bo Peep in vain does he look. Young Miss Rhinoceros gave a beach party. She greeted her friends with a welcome most hearty. They laughed and they joked and they swam in the sea and the party was gay as a party should be. She comes from Spain, this proud, proud dame. Mistress Marino is her name. Her wool weaves into dress goods rare. Her skin makes gloves the ladies wear. Merry guinea pigs one day went out in the fields to play. Daisy smiled and wished that they would never, never go away. Here is Sister Piggy and a brother Piggy too. The story they are telling here would not apply to you, for selfish little sisters who make their brothers cry do not belong in houses, but with piggies in the sty. Mm -hmm.